Let me just say right off the bat here that Johnny Redneck and Cousin Eddie, despite their shape and size by today's wrestling standards, these guys can fight, these guys can brawl, and these guys do have experience. They're tough, and they're both over 300 pounds apiece. And that just makes them hard to move around the ring. I mean, when you're trying to take control of somebody that's that significantly bigger than you. Look at that. Look at how he just lays that in there. Now, Rough Crossing and Spade, they've got the experience on these two guys. Yeah, they're no slouches in the ring when it comes to power. There we go. Look, look at the agility for a guy that's six foot four. Wow, look at those shots. I'm laying it in there. Cousin Eddie is definitely reeling from them chops. Nope, reversal. Up and over. Oh, cut okay. it. Turn Buster to the chest and look at oh, oh, Rough hurt himself. It, see, then we were just saying that about 300 plus pounds. Yeah. The size advantage really nice. plays key. Right breaker, very nicely done. And with his size again, and the way that this guy moves, uh, he's already getting a two count. And this you, early in the match, already getting a two count against a guy like Rough Crossing. Yeah, and it's coming out. Irish whip. Tried to the body slam. Oh, go behind. Try oh, he got him on that one. That, he got him on that one. But look at, look at, you can still see it hurt him. Lower back is definitely hurting. That right might, uh, you know. He's got too much pride. I, I would call that more balls than brains. <laughs> because you know that weakened him, but he did it anyway. Right, right. right. Drop it out. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Again, the size comes into play. No, and look how they overcompensated wow. with the high flying. They were great as a team. A little bit of, does a little bit of damage to Scott, but the, the overall effect of knocking him down and almost getting that pinfall right there is definitely worth it in that point. I want you to notice something, though. Although Redneck Johnny is concerned, he doesn't look that concerned, right. so they must have some sort of plan. Right. He knows that Cousin Eddie can take a lot of abuse before he's in trouble. Uh, yeah, they've probably been beating the crap out of each other in their backyard or whatever since they were eight years old. Right. right? I mean, these guys, they, they take the abuse. Sometimes they'll take three or four hits just to get in there to give you one hit. Giving Scott State credit here. Wow. Now see how he uses weight against them? Lifting the big man off the ground like that is... is Tags and rough crossing. Let's see what's going to happen now. Double axe handle at the second. Nope, but he gets that cross. Boom! No, double axe handle nothing. He just laid it in there. Right. Nice soup on Eddie's arm. Yep. Here you go. Goes for a nice... Oh. Wait a minute. He didn't get that knee drop. I think he missed it. Unbelievable. Here comes Redneck Johnny right to that body part that he just injured. Yep. He smelled blood in the water. He went after the knee. Yeah, he did. He can't beat that. That is just being technically observant of what's happening in the ring. And with rough height, he's got those long limbs. I mean, that's right. actually real smart wrestling. Oh! He needs to go right for that leg. He takes that leg out, and, and what's going to happen here? It's going to be even harder for him to get up, and once he does finally get up, no, he's really rough. Oh, he's like, kind of I don't up think in the he's going to get up. The referee's got to get in there and break that. Yeah. Hang oh. up, hanging up the knee on the ropes and just stomping on him. Scott Spade, you know, concerned about his partner, but all he did was more harm than good on that one by distracting the referee inadvertently. Right. The ref was trying to break the hold, but then he went to go get Scott back in the corner. Eddie's outside regrouping. Boom! Johnny with a nice elbow again, size coming into play. 300 plus pounds landing across your sternum. And point of the elbow. Notice how he did that point of the elbow right to the sternum. Kind of a crusher bolo style. Oh, oh did miss that one. Went to the well one too often. And as Will Lamonson used to say, <laughs> no way, no way. Here comes Scott Face. Boom! Nice fire back. Fire boom! A lot of fire there. And boom! Nobody going to go down. The seat. We're talking about 300 plus pounds. Oh, clothesline. And how many punches didn't take him off his feet? Oh, just the clothesline. Only to get cut off himself by Redneck Johnny. They had a plan like we discussed earlier. And now, the, the fact that he didn't go over the top of the right, right there, I think actually did more harm to him than if he fell to the floor. Well, he like, jammed up his back really bad on that top row. Oh, and then he throws him into the post. Uh, you bring up another good point. Uh, these ropes of PPW are not rope like World Wrestling Entertainment. That's right. cable with some holes over it. Right. What happened is, when that thing hits you in the back of the head, it hits you with the force of a blackjack. Right, it's like running into a fence almost. That runs into a fence, but also it's got a little bit of extra slap in there. Once yeah. it hits you in the back of the head, boom. And that, that was big between the shoulder, shoulder blades, too. Yeah. Oh, look at it. He's like a rabid dog. See how he moves for a 300 plus pounder? Right. I mean, how many guys that big can move like that? You just can't. And the referee is having a hassle. Oh, <laughs> he's having a hassle trying to control him. Choking him across the ropes. And he's still reeling from the ring post, too. Yeah, he is. And also hitting his head less than one minute ago yeah. on that cable rope. He is in bad shape right now. Scott's got to make the tag before it's too late. Got to give Redneck and Eddie credit. They're real cousins in real life, but they're working very well as a team right here, breaking down Spade and Crossing. Yeah. 
Double Irish whip in. Boom. Double tackle. That 600 plus pump. Who do you know that could that could remain on their feet running into that wall of flesh? Yeah, I mean, two two guys like that just hammering you, knocking you down. Oh, big clubbing forearm to Scott Spade. And as far as PPW goes, this is the first time we've seen Cousin Eddie and Johnny together here. Now, please notice something. Look at Russ Crossing. He's a veteran. He knows that it's all about energy and proper use of the energy. So what does he do? He's trying to get his partner pumped up. Right. By what? Getting the crowd pumped up. Here we go. Another tag. When the crowd rallies behind you like that, sometimes you can get borderline superhuman strength going. Superhuman retard strength, really. Absolutely. <laughs> they make a joke a lot of times about the amazing recuperative powers of a pro wrestler, but really there's legitimate aspects to that. Absolutely. You'll feel it the next day, but you won't feel it right now during the match. Look at that. Did you see it? Smash mouth. Boom. Big corner. Oh! He, and he got the tag. He got he hit it. A hot tag is made, you're right. Boom. Exactly. What's in there? Boom. Laying in those fists. Boom. But still, three in a post. Wait a minute. Hasn't gone down yet. Oh, I don't think the ref, hey, ref did not see that tag. Oh, and that just gives him a chance to get back on space. Wow. Now, look at this. Look it, at this. He's Johnny and Eddie team. didn't make that tag. The, the referee is over here trying to get crossing out of the ring who actually did get tagged and the other two have switched. Referee can't keep up with this action. Right. He's distracted by trying to keep Ruff out of the ring. Has no idea that these two guys didn't even tag him a little bit. Yeah. So what's he going to do now? Yeah. Yep. Oh, man, you got it. How frustrated is Ruff crossing right now? Oh, he's now. furious. You can see he's pacing back and forth on the apron like a cage line. And the punishment that Scotty's taking. What are we going to see? A double, double Russian leg sweep. That should be it. I hate to say it, but that should be it. One, two. Oh! And you know what's cool about that? Crossing would have broke that up, but he didn't have to. Yeah. He kicked out. He's got the resiliency. And now you can't bank on your partner coming in to break that up right there. No. He doesn't know if, if uh, Ruff's going to come in the ring and, and save him there. Well, so he, he doesn't know where he is. That was pure injury. Right. Absolutely. I mean, dude, we're talking about it, over 600 pounds beating on him for the last five minutes. Yep. What's going to happen here? Neck breaker? No. Oh! Yep, that's the close one. Whoa. And hey, look at Scotty Spade picking up the 300 plus pounds and dropping them on the back of his head with that back suplex. Amazing. Where did he pull that out of? That let's is... see if he can figure out where he's in the ring and make that tag. It, it looks like easy, but he's only six feet away, but it's not. Yeah. It's not. Uh, uh, he's going the wrong direction here. He, oh, wait. Nope, turn nope, around. Nope. Turn around. And see who's, who's leading him there. The right. fans by getting behind him. Right. Hot tag. Hot tag to Ruff Crossing. Ruff to the top rope. Whoa! Whoa! Nice fine shoulder tackle. Shades of the Patriot Dale Wilkes. Whoa! Oh! Nice crusher backdrop. That's the old style. And what's gonna Oh! And three! The back kick right to the back of Eddie's head. And Scott Spade is back up and doesn't have all his marbles back, but he's, he's trying to He's trying. Back. Exactly. Now what's gonna happen here? We've got Matt. Oh, big shot. Corner. Big shot in the corner. Looks like we're gonna have this four away. No, oh, Eddie and the Scott Spade. That was unexpected. Meeting of the minds right there in the cell. Look at Ruff. Ruff. Ruff doesn't know what to do now. He's he feels bad, but he's, he's got to get back. Match. Yep. Oh, nice. Look at Redneck Johnny, dumb like a fox, getting right on him. Yep. Wait a minute, though. I don't know about this. Like he's, oh, oh, oh. He hit the ring post with full force. 300 plus pounds. Cousin Eddie. Oh, nice so cold stutter. And what do we got here? Yeah. Going to the top. Unbelievable cross body for a guy that's six foot four. One, two, and three. That's they it. Got him. Crossing the spade advance. Outstanding match. Your winner is a world crossing. Scott Spade up.